Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. The lethal dose and concentration of naphthalene is not exactly known. According to one report, the probable oral lethal dose for adults may range from 5 to 15 grams, 7. However, another study found one male who survived after ingesting around 60 grams of mothballs, 4. Make your mark, take our lead. If swallowed, naphthalene can damage red blood cells, causing kidney damage and many other problems. It can affect how blood carries oxygen to the heart, brain, and other organs. It can also cause nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, seizures and coma. Take our lead. People who have recently eaten many mothballs containing naphthalene may be forced to vomit. Other treatments may include activated charcoal to prevent the poison from absorbing in the digestive system, airway and breathing support, including oxygen. Take our lead. When naphthalene is metabolized in the liver, oxidative stress induces massive hemolysis, resulting in hemolytic anemia, methemoglobinemia, hemoglobinuria, and jaundice. It is generally known that glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase G6PD, deficiency increases the risk for hemolysis due to decreased glutathione stores. Make your mark, take our lead. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, in the United States has established a permissible exposure limit, PEL, of 10 ppm for naphthalene. The National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, NIOSH, established an immediately dangerous to life or health, IDLH, value of 250 ppm for naphthalene. Take our lead. Everyone in the home is exposed to the vapors if mothballs are not used properly. 4,000 children per year are exposed to mothballs with over 600 of these cases requiring medical attention. Ingestion of one mothball can be toxic to a young child, and even lethal if G6PD deficiency is present in that child. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.